Hold on. Son. Just a minute. You'll get better now. You found it, you did. <laughs> Don't you dare die on me now! Don't even think about it! What would I tell her then, huh? <laughs> no sleeping, soldier! No sleeping now! I did find you, after all. Don't know how. <laughs> Stay with me, Artyom! again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... went out like this. Cars! 
Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the stair. <sighs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. <laughs> you can't go to sleep now. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet. Not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end, not your goal. Can you hear me? There's just not enough of us left, not enough. Artyom, please, please, don't leave me. I don't need any medicine at this price. Yes, I will live now. But what good is life without you? Stop it. Don't say such things, Anna. You saved her, Artyom. You did save her. It was not for nothing. She will leave. Don't you get this? That's true. Oh. Whoa. That's it. He can't give anymore, can't you see? We're all out of blood. Anna, you really should rest. My dad is gone. Don't leave me too, Artyom.
Do you recognize me? It's me, Eugene, from the exhibition. And to think I've been waiting here. Some best friend you are. Some other fate, Thor. A greater one. I remember when you were but a boy from the exhibition, dreaming of one day remembering the face of his mother. Was that why you opened the airlock at the botanical gardens? Look at you now. I'll be returning to the metro soon. But you... The sun never rises here, Artyom. You can't stop this train can ever get off it. There are not stations in this world. He who has enough courage and patience to stare into the darkness for his entire life shall be the first to see the flash of light. Remember that? Why then? Not enough patience. So what if there are no stations here? Who'd want to stop anyway? <laughs> Come on, you hunk of iron. Pick up some speed. We'll shake this place up. Make all the dead look alive. Well, it is time for me to leave. And you... Tell everyone I said I. I'll give your regards to whoever I see back home. Forget him. Come, I'm making you chief mate. We're in for a long voyage. An eternal one. I'm going to need some help. So what are you waiting for? Huh? An apology? Not likely to happen, Artyom. Everyone does what he must. A soldier's duty is to shoot the enemy, not ask questions. You did what you could. I did what I could. And we did it all right. We gave it all. Let the living sort out the rest. Hey, what's that? This is weird. The first time I saw anything like that here. Uh, look, how about we try to stop this thing, huh? Uh, give me a hand. Come on! Oh. 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 Well, Artyom, go take a look. You can leave the ship for now. Not fair. We found a place to be happy, and now you leave? We couldn't have the life we dreamed of. But you went and gave up everything for me. I hate you for that. I hate to see you go. I hate to stay here alone. But I will. Because I love you. I love you so much. Goodbye, Artyom. <laughs> 